Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to see you. Good evening, everyone. Okay. Today Good evening, teacher. Practice. Hello, Patricia. Hello, teacher. Okay, guys. Today we are going to practice and we can clarify any doubt. Vamos a clarificar alguna duda que tengan. And if you have any question, let me know. Sí, cualquier pregunta, please tell me. And basically, guys, we're going to continue. All right. I want you to practice this dialogue okay el dialogo vamos a ver i need a man i need a man and a woman vamos a ver quiénes nos representan raise your hand raise your hand le voy a poner el video y después ustedes dicen vaya please let me know if you can hear uh, no that's okay but thanks anyway. Do you hear? You're welcome. Do Notice you hear? the girls are talking about their preferences in the next class? Yes or no, guys? Do you hear? Look. Yes. Yes, in this yes teacher. Yes, I teacher. Listen. Okay, listen. Introduce to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. ¿Cómo pro... Which one do you prefer? ¿Cómo hablamos de nuestras preferencias? Pay attention. Look. These jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. No. Okay. Who wants to do this dialogue? Alguien quiere participar haciendo el dialogo, guys? Luis, good job. And Patricia, okay. Vamos entonces con Patricia, luego Carla y Francisco, okay? Luis if, y Patricia, please go ahead, read it. Si no lo pueden ver, if you cannot see, let me know. But it is here, okay? Go. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool I like the wool one better. The wool one. Acuérdense que es pregunta. Okay, the so one remember, one. increase your voice. Okay, the word one, why? It look warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the weird one. Mm, mm. There's mm. no price tag. Excuse me, how much in the jacket? It... How much is, how much is the jacket? Repeat again. How please. much? How much is the jacket? Jacket. Jacket. It, jacket. Jacket. Uh huh. It four hundred ninety nine dollars. Would you like to try it one? Okay, one more time. Would you like? Wait me. Would would would. Okay, ahí ponemos would. Would, would you would. like? To try it on, try it on. One more time, go. Would you like oh, to try no. it on? Pero oh, no, Luisito, continue. Okay. Solo léame esa parte, Luis, and then you continue, okay. Patricia. Okay. okay. Would you like to try it on? No, oh, no, that's okay, but thanks. Thanks anyway. Gracias, Vito. Uh, thanks okay. anyway, yeah. excuse me. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Good job. Guys, remember, hagan ese link entre palabras, okay? Um, this jacket are, jacket are really nice, okay? 
I I like the wool one. Wool one. Wool. Okay. Thank you, Francisco and Carla. Go. Okay. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is it this jacket? It's for 199. Would you like to try it on? Um, no thanks, okay, but thank you anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. Good, hey, thank you. Mire, Stephanie, right pronunciation, solo le faltó, le faltó ponerle un poquito de emoción. Okay? okay. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, that's too much, right? It's $499. Okay? Okay, teacher. But good, o sea, la, la emoción, guys. Igual cuando hacemos okay. preguntas, increase your voice. Súbanle el volumen al final de la pregunta, ¿ok? Thank you. Give me a moment. Let's go next. Ahora solo ustedes van a practicar, guys. Después... Eso ya lo vimos. Yeah, we started that part already. 3.8. Uh, Francisco, help me read. Okay, go. Go. Okay. By the end of the list, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Thank you. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to comprehend. Thank you. Um, let me know if you can hear. Cheap, old, and new. Aquí nos quedamos. Adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative Pero, sentences. Pero, igual, ¿verdad? By Para que nos recordemos un poquito. To comprehend and use comparative adjectives. ¿Cómo se compara, guys? Everyone, cuando algo nos class, gusta. We will talk about how to express preferences in english as well as to compare let's see preferences comparisons with adjectives which one do you prefer i prefer the leather one which one do you like better i like the leather one better which one do you like more i like the leather one more that one is cheaper than the wool one this one is nicer than the wool one the leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer... I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer. ¿Cómo se dice entonces? I prefer. ¿Y cómo se pregunta, guys? Which one do you prefer? Which do, one do you prefer? Do you, exactly. You Which use one do. Do you prefer? Do you prefer? Ok. Aquí tenemos entonces, guys, cómo utilizamos el do. Ok. Cuando hacemos preguntas. Primero el do o el das. ¿Cuándo se ocupa das? When can we use das? Tercera persona. Para tercera persona. Thank you, Iván. All right. Das, Jennifer, él, 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 ella o eso. All right. Et. Y después ocupamos entonces, guys, su, el sujeto y luego el sujeto o pronombre. Sujeto o pronombre y luego un verbo, ¿ok? Entonces, pregúntenme. ¿Somebody wants to ask something? ¿Quieren alguien preguntar? Respuesta es así. 
Sí, yo quiero. I want. I like. I study. I work. En tercera persona, ¿qué pasa, guys? What is going on in the third person? La respuesta afirmativa al verbo se le agrega la S. Cambia su base. Para tercera persona, right? Yeah, for third person. Okay, thank you. So, ask me a question, guys. The leather one. Which one do you like uh, better? I do like you like eat better. pupusa, teacher? Do you like to eat pupusas? Yes, I like to eat on the weekends. Thank you. Good question. Another one? When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. Y ya sabemos las formas comparativas también. Pero I want you to focus on... Francisco, any question? Perdón, olvidé de bajar la mano. No question. How do you ask, guys? ¿Cómo se pregunta entonces? La WH Do you like to travel? ¿Y si le ponemos una WH question? ¿Por qué? Mm, Why do you like where? to travel? Or where, where do you like to travel? All right. Good job. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Carla. Mm -hmm. Another, another question. Teacher, se podría, se podría preguntar, este, do you prefer lake or sea? Okay, do you prefer lake or sea? Ah, yeah. Lake or sea? Um, lake or beach también, pues. Um, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Do you prefer? Thank you. I prefer the beach more than the. Y pues, more than the river, more than the lake, more than the mountains. Okay. Another? Me, me teacher. Yes. Rene? Where, where do you like to travel on your next vacation? Okay. Aunque el next vacation sería futuro, entonces sería... Good, pero está bien. Where do you like to travel? ¿Dónde te gusta viajar? ¿Ok? Eh, on vacations, uh -huh. en la vacación. ¿Ok? On your next vacation suena más a future. Como en tu yeah. próxima. Así que sería, ¿dónde te gustaría? ¿Dónde viajarías? All right. Eh, but yeah, todavía seguimos con la misma estructura, guys. Sujeto, ¿verdad? Verbo, pero si pregunto, ocupamos un auxiliary, ¿ok? Do o does. Ok, another question in third person. ¿Quién me ayuda con una tercera persona? Where does Jennifer eat pupusas? Oh, she eats pupusas in el centro. She eats pupusas in the fly market. Uh, in the flea market, etc. Vamos, give me another example, guys. Uh -huh. Sí, digo, me gusta más el más pequeño, What? me gusta el más pequeño más que el grande. ¿Cómo lo diría? Digamos, if you're talking about a cell phone, ¿ok? Me gusta más el pequeño que el grande. Perdón. Me gusta más el pequeño que el corto. En inglés, I like. I ah, like. Me gusta. Like. The small. The smaller. The smaller. That, the smaller one than. One than. Uh, one. I like okay, than the bigger one. one. Que el más grande, okay? Than the bigger one. Okay. okay. Guys, eso ya lo habíamos use. visto. Los comparative forms. Look here. Aquí lo tenemos. Miren, guys. Comparatives, okay? Adjective plus ER plus than. 
small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend. This one we did it already. Yep. Next. We did this one already, right? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. We fill the blanks and circle the words, right? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. We completed yes, the teacher. sentences as well. Um, yeah. it was a uh, uh, reading practice. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, ahora quiero, ahora quiero, now I want to hear more readings. Quiero escuchar que alguien más lea, besides the uh, one who, yes, um, who read yesterday, okay? Let me see, who wants to read? Sofia, go. Si alguien más levanta la mano, I'll tell you and then you continue donde yo le diga, okay? Pero bye. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Sofía. Que... No, Hi. mi, mi Katia, ¿qué, ¿qué módulo es este? Hi, Ernesto. In your email message, you ask me, what do you do? What do you I do every day? Well, am I studying? Am I student I'm at the University of Michigan? I really like my classes. I study computer science uh, and Chinese. I go to school around eight uh, in the morning on week weekdays around noon. I have lunch with some classmates. Thank you. Vamos a comenzar con uh, continue with Jorge. Uh, if somebody else wants to say something, si quiere participar, raise your hand. Okay. Continue, please. Um, eh, on Mondays and Friday, I work out in the. On gym. Mondays and Fridays. On Mondays yes. and Friday, I work out in the gym. Work out. Before. Work out. Repeat. On work Mondays out. and Fridays, I work out in the gym. On Monday and Friday, I no. work Mondays out. Mondays and Fridays. Es plural. On Mondays. And Friday, I work out in the gym before my classes. And, and in the afternoon, on Tuesday and Thursday. Aquí va, my... and in the school cafeteria. Ah, perdón. Ah, no, no, aquí vamos, entonces. And in uh -huh. the late afternoon the on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh -huh. Sí, iba bien. Yeah, sorry. Uh -huh. My friend Daniel and, friend? I have, and I have part time jobs. Thank we you. Continue, work... Romeo. Continue, Romeo. Thank you, Jorge. Uh, we work in the school cafeteria and I study in the library every weeknight until about 2 a.m. A.m. I am, I am a full-time stu student and no I don't have... No, full-time student, solo full-time student. Full-time student. I am student. a full-time student. Repeat one more. Uh -huh. Full-time student. Muy bien, very good. Full-time student and I don't have time to watch TV. Okay, and... continue, Alejandra. Okay. Finish the part. <laughs> Alejandra? Uh, what do you? Send me another email, please. You knew and friend, Chris. Again, and what do you do? 
Repeat. And what do you and do? What do you do? Send me another email, please. Oh. Send me another email, okay. please. And what do you do? Send me another email, please. And you what knew? do you do? ¿Se acuerdan, guys, que vimos un video en donde usted pone la palabra con más énfasis? And what do you do? ¿Y qué es lo que haces? Right? And what do you do? Right? Send me. Hey, mandame. Send me another email. ¿Ok? Tenemos que darle más énfasis a las palabras, guys, que le ponemos más importancia. ¿Ok? Um, your new friend, Chris. ¿Ok? Thank you. Remember, guys, emphasize the most important word. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Um, allí lo tenemos, guys. We have the answers there. All right, if you don't know, you can take a screenshot. Now let's continue. Read for me. Mm -mm. Nelson. Read the instruct. Oh, sorry. Ya nos pasamos. Okay, we are on a different session. Please ask me, guys. Vamos a ocupar estos. ¿Cómo se usan los comparatives? Y acá voy a mencionar lo de la tarea. I'm going to check the homework a little bit. Because there were some mistakes. Hay algunas cositas que no estuvieron como que perfect. So give me examples using the comparatives, but in questions. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, do you, verbo, work on Saturdays? Or on Sundays. Trabaja usted los sábados. You work on Saturdays. ¿Cómo me respondería? How can you answer? Yes, I do. Yes, I no, do. I do. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Y si yo dijera, yo trabajo más los sábados que los domingos. How do you say that? I Sujeto, I, I verbo, work, work, I work more, more, on Saturday, on Saturdays, on Saturdays than, than, on Sunday. Exactly. Give me another example. ¿Cuál era la otra, guys? Instead of more, ¿cuál era la otra opción? More than. More o better, ¿verdad? Ok, more better. than. Ok. More examples. My father I is more. Happy, I prefer. Happy. I my father is more. Dígame. Me... Sorry. Um. Alguien iba a decir algo. Somebody was going to say something. My teacher is more intelligent than me. <laughs> okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Después del compañero. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Okay. Thank you. 
I prefer play soccer than basketball. Okay. My father is more happy than my mother. More happy? Than my mother. Okay. Um, are you sure? Uh, Remember yeah. the rule. Happier. Happier, right? No, no decimos more porque ya termina con Y y, ter y es de dos sílabas, guys. So, how do you say it? Entonces sería my mom or my father. My father is happier than my mother. Happier. Very good. Then my mom. Okay, another example. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you prefer to eat, pizza or hamburger? I prefer to eat hamburger than pizza. Good example, good question. Another, another example. My cat is older than your cat. <laughs> okay. How old okay. is your cat? Vamos a practicar el verbo to be también, okay? Is Am and are, porque si se acuerdan es un poquito diferente a la estructura del do. Si se fijan, en pregunta, ¿qué es lo que ocupamos, guys? Ocupamos un auxiliar primero, right? ¿Ya? Yeah. Auxiliary, ¿cuáles son los auxiliares para simple present? What are the auxiliary? Do is one and the other is? Do, that's... Does, all right. Yeah, When does. can we use that? Yes. Solo para tercera persona singular, excepto yo. All right. Um, y para los plurales ocupamos? Do you, does. do they, do, do. we? Do that. El das solo para he, she, it. Tercera persona, all right. And any other question con do o das? Vamos a ver, pregúnteme otra What cosa do con do o das. In ah. your free time. What do you do in your free time? Oh, okay. Pregúntele a alguien, porfa. Ask someone that question. Para que se la, eh, se la respondan, okay? Let me see. What Francisco. Do you do Francisco, your... what do you do like in, in your free time? I like uh, to play soccer. I like... Like, uh, I like, sound. like, uh -huh. I like to stay in my home. Uh, I like, uh, I like to go to the church. <laughs> okay, nice. And uh, somebody else ask a question, Francisco. Acuérdese, lo único que hace, the only thing you do is just to make a switch. Póngale do or does al inicio and then continue. Esmeralda, you want to say something? Eh, Esmeralda le va a contestar. She's going to answer and ask a question as well. Um, veamos. Acá está, mire. Where? Where do you live? Where do you live? Okay, Esmeralda. Okay, I live in San Pedro, Perú, La Pan. Hey, very, we're very close. Eh, pregúntale, ¿por qué vivís ahí? Why do you live here? There. Uh, here is aquí. There is ahí. All right. Uh, All right. Why do you live uh, there? Because... I I live with my uh, uh, parents and I I really like uh, and I know uh, and I and I and I and I because I live with my parents and I because I live I because I live with my parents. And I really like and die uh, and die and I and die. Mm. You really like what? Um, because the weather is is very 
uh, warm. Uh, for me, it's delicious. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's but Cojutepeque has, tiene, Cojutepeque has a nicer weather than so, that Pedro Pelurepan, creo, I believe, yo creo, it's colder, eh, porque es un poquito más, más, más fresquito, all right, colder. Eh, San Pedro Pelurepan is warmer than Cojutepeque. Ajá, good example, hey, aplaus, Esmeralda, you're doing really well, very, very good, high five for you, okay. Eh, miren, guys, she maintained a conversation with me, ¿verdad? Ahí me dice, sí, claro, ¿verdad? Es más heladito, pero comparando, ¿verdad? El clima de los demás me gusta por su clima, dice ella. Le gusta lo calientito. All right. Eh, let's see. Let's continue, guys, ¿ok? Teacher. Hello, hello. Questions? Carla. Eh, me I go to the bathroom, please. Sure, go ahead. Thank okay. You. In this lesson, likes and dislikes, guys. Veamos, let's watch. Let me know if you can hear. Do like. Can you hear? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation. Yes, it's your yes. Likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, ¿Cómo preguntan ellos? Ocupando do, ¿verdad? ¿Y cómo responden? Ocupando el verbo. Okay. Do you work? Yes, I work. Does she work? Yes, she works. Solo en afirmativo es que le agregamos la S a los verbos. Remember, tercera persona nada más, afirmativo. And this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to or like? Mm -hmm. What kind of music do you like? Guys, answer. I like rock music. What about you? I what like, kind of music do you like? I like 80s music. 80s music, okay. Okay. Guys, anything else? I like classical music. Classical, classical music. Classical music, okay. yes. Nice. I like rock music. You look, okay. Rock music, you like rock music? Me too, okay. Y si le pregunto, what, um, what song do you like the most? Si les pregunto, ¿cuál es la canción que le gusta más? What song or which song? Ahí les pregunto which, en lugar de what. Which song do you like the most? ¿Alguna canción en específico? Can you tell me, can you tell me your favorite music? Or your favorite song? Esmeralda? Teacher, my favorite song is My Hair Will Go On by Celine Dion. My Heart Will Go On. La del Titanic le gusta, vea. All right, Esmeralda, good. All right. I like it too. I also like, también, I also like Celine Dion song. Me gusta también la canción. That one, esa, <laughs> that one. Um, nice, nice. And let's continue, guys. Sure. Hello? Yeah. I like memories. Memories music? Okay. Which yes. is, I ocupo el is, miren, guys. Which is your favorite singer or band?
Nelson, I'm asking you. My favorite singer is Pac Smoke. Okay, I don't know what that group is. But everybody repeat. Favorite. Everybody, come on. Favorite. No es favorite, ni favorite. Es con la boca. Favorite. 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 La V, ¿verdad? Favorite. 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 Uh, help me read. Vamos a ver. Who raised your hand? ¿Quién quiere leer? Who wants to read, guys? Instructions, please. Maritza, tell me. Okay. okay. By the end of this lesson, participate. Lesson. 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 By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions. To ask simple... questions. To, to ask, ask questions. questions. In simple present. Questions, con la S, questions. Okay, ask question in simple present. No think... simple, no, simple. Guys, siempre que vean la L E simple, O, en lugar de ple, es all, ok? Como okay. E O L en lugar de E, e O L en lugar de L E. Ple, no, po, O, L, in O. Simple, simple, in simple present. Simple present. Using your dash. Using. Using do or does along do with. Do or does. Do, do or, or does. does. Along with WH question words. WH questions words. Ok, guys. Vamos a ver cómo se pregunta entonces. Hey, do you work? Do you study? Pero, hey, why do you work? Why do you study? Pongámosle la WH question al inicio. Y me hacen preguntas, please. Y ahorita anoto y si no les dejo tareas, ¿ok? Go! At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use... Which are the two auxiliaries? ¿Cuáles eran? Does he do? Exactly. Do that. For simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It, us, them. Did you notice both auxiliaries, do and does? Do, does. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we used the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Does he play the piano? If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Okay, let's check it out, guys. Tenemos acá entonces, ¿cómo se pregunta? Auxiliary and then... Subject, luego el verbo, ¿cambia o no? Si es pregunta y uso un auxiliar, ¿does it change? En pregunta no cambia el verbo. No, exactly. Y si fuera negativo, que no lo hemos visto tanto a profundidad, ¿does it change? 
Tampoco no. cambia porque lo asume el auxiliar. Exactly. Siempre que ocupamos auxiliares, anytime we use auxiliaries, we don't change the verb. Se queda en base form. Solo, solamente lo cambio when. When do I change the verb? Siempre en affirmative, que, fe, que es affirmative. And then, ¿qué más? En tercera persona. Third person. Thank you, Francisco. Solamente en tercera persona. ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas, Maritza? Eh, she, eh, he, eh, it's... It. Very good. Heche it. All right. We're talking about two kinds of questions. Ahora vemos también los object pronouns. Ayer medio lo vimos. Ahora el object pronouns es el que recibe la acción. Por ejemplo, um, me gusta. Digo, decimos, I like. Check it out. Do you like my I donut? like it. Talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Yep. Me gusta ella. Decimos, I like. Mire. Brr. Me gusta él. I like. Him. Him. Muy bien. Esos son los object pronouns, guys. Ayer no los vimos, pero ahorita sí. ¿Ok? Y solo me pueden decir, ¿cómo dice él me ama? He. He. Love he love me. me. Love me. ¿Y la S a dónde quedaba? He loves me. Exactly. He loves me. ¿Ok? ¿Y, y ella me ama? Sí. sí. She loves, loves, me. Loves, loves me. She loves me. Muy bien. Eh, ahora sí me pregunta, ¿me querrá ella o me quiere ella? ¿Cómo me preguntarían? How do you ask that? Loves, loves me. Does she love me? Does she love me? El verbo no lo cambio. Muy bien. Does she love me? Yes, yeah, she loves you. Ok. Out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Do you like Madonna, guys? Ni saben quién es Madonna. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I, no, I like. <laughs> yes, I like her, Madonna. Yes, yes I, I like, like her. En lugar de decir Madonna, decimos yes, I like her. Do you like... Uh, hablamos de... Um, Do you, do you like, ¿cómo se llama este singer? Anyways, do you like Juanes? Juanes from Colombia. I don't like him. I don't like him. Muy bien. I don't like her, si es ella. Y si yo le digo los Beatles, Beatles, do you like them? ¿Cómo responde? Yes or no? Yes, I like them. I like them. Very good. Thank you, guys. All right. El them, ¿verdad? El object pronoun, guys, es este. ¿Ya? Yeah. Nosotros les gustamos a ellos, como lo dijeran, guys. How can you say that? Nosotros les gustamos a ellos. We like you. We, no, like we like you. you. Me gustas. We, no, a nosotros nos gusta. We you. like. We like. They. Ellos. We like to him. <laughs> no, ahí me dice me they gusta él. Like no, ellos. Ellos. Ah, they. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh, no, entonces sería they. Yeah. They like. Us. Us. Hey, very good. Nosotros les caemos bien o les gustamos a ellos. Like es gustar o caer bien, guys. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo se dice entonces? How do you say? That we like to them. We like them. O, no. O sea, like them. Ahí es que digo que a nosotros nos caen bien ellos. Si decimos que a ellos les caemos bien, sería entonces... We like we them. Like, they like us. They like us. Exactly. ¿Quién dijo they like us, guys? Yo. Me. <laughs> okay. Eh, yo no escuché, guys. Who is that? La Sophie. Ay, Sophie, mira, es que usted se esconde. Por eso no la veo. Okay. They like us. 
eh, a ellos les gusta most, ¿verdad? They like us. We like them. A nosotros nos gusta a ellos o nos caen bien ellos. We like them. Uh -huh. They like us. Ok, guys. Acá estamos viendo los object pronouns, ok. Ah, sí, me gusta esa película. Me gusta. How do you say that? I. I like movies. I like the movies. Y en lugar del de movies, ¿cuál es el pronombre que sustituye? I like it. 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 Me I like gustan it. las dos. Mire, me gustan las de Shrek, la uno y la dos. ¿Cómo diría? I like. Me gustan yeah. las dos. Me I gusta like las dos. I like. I like. I like them. 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 Good job. All right. Very good. Okay. Ahí estamos. Guys. Them. Póngale mute, porfa, que se escucha bastante ruido alrededor. Knowledge check. Esta lo vimos, todo lo completamos ayer, guys. We, all, we completed everything yesterday, right? No, no, teacher, esas no, son teacher. de las de la cuatro, de la sección cuatro, number four. Esa falta, Esta es de la unidad cuatro. Ah, pues no, es que entonces ya terminamos, guys. Yesterday, yesterday. Yeah, we finished everything yesterday. Okay. Vaya, entonces, let me come back. 4.4. Sería el primer ejercicio de la unidad 4. No, 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 no. Not at this time. Ahorita no, guys. Esa okay. es para la next week, okay? Okay. So we're done. Good. Right now, guys, I want you to ocupen el WH questions y me hagan preguntas, please, okay? For example, Sofia, she's been answering all the time. Do you work? Mi pregunta, miren. Do you work? ¿Cómo se usa la, cómo se hace la pregunta? Auxiliar, ¿verdad? Do or does? Sujeto y verbo. Do you work? Sofia? Yes, I work. ¿Cómo responde ella con sujeto? Yes. I, sujeto y verbo. All right. Ahora, ¿cómo le preguntarían a ella, guys? ¿Dónde trabajan? Ocúpeme todas las WH questions que, re que you remember, ¿ok? Where, where, do you do you work? Work? where do you work? Ok, where do you work? Ahora ya no es yes, where I work. Yeah? What work? is the answer? I work, I work in I San work Salvador, for example. In San Salvador, or I work in... Work. A I work in San Salvador. I work at a factory. I work in Suchitoto. Sofía? Uh, pero si estoy diciendo en un lugar en específico, creo que es I work at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I work at Tigo, El Salvador. A Tigo. Oh my God, ya le vamos a poner queja de los de las fallas que tenemos, right? We're going to complain about the... <laughs> All right, about the bad internet connection. All right. Qué, qué mal, Sofía, que esté trabajando ahí. Me, ya me imagino que ha de ser frustrante. I don't know where, but which area? Ahora pregunto, which area do you work? ¿Y en qué área? Which area do you work? Mire, otra WH question. Vamos, Sofía. Which, which... I work in customer service. I work in... I... Technical support. I work. Yes, in... I, I work. I work in customer service. In uh, I don't know what do you say, sales. How? Uh, ¿Cuánto? Eh, perdón. How? ¿Cómo? How do you say? I don't know how to say. Si quiere preguntar algo, mire, yo no sé cómo decir esto. You say I. I don't know how to say. ¿Cómo decir? Si yo pregunto, hey, ¿cómo decís algo? You can say how do you say. Okay. Pero si yo digo no sé cómo decirlo, digo I don't know how. To to say, cómo decirlo. ¿Se acuerdan que 
en algún momento les dije que dos verbos juntos ponemos un to en medio. How to say o cómo decir si el verbo es infinitivo. ¿Ok? How to say, how to study, cómo estudiar. Si es infinitivo le ponemos el to. ¿Ok? Ok. But you work in sales, ¿ok? En sales, en... sales externos, no sé si... External Vendas sales, externos. ¿ok? Ventas externas, ¿ok? Good. Ahora les pregunto, guys. Le pregunto a... Um, ¿Alguien me quiere contestar la pregunta? Vamos a ver. Someone wants to answer a question. Le voy a preguntar entonces. Which department does Sofia work? WH question, which? Which department? Ya sabe que trabaja en Tio. All right, she works at Tio. Which department? ¿Cuál sería el, el auxiliar? What is the auxiliary? Does. Does. ¿Quién? She. Who? She, pero ¿quién? ¿Quién? Es que she es muy general. So, ¿sería? Yes. Sofía. Sofía, le cambio work a la, e, a la S. ¿Le pongo work al verbo o no? No, work no lleva no. S. Porque ya no, va no a auxiliar das. Exactly, very good. Si lleva auxiliar, no, vea. Ok, entonces ya en afirmación ya diría, ah, oh, she works, ok. Ahí sí, sí le pongo la S. Oh, she works in sales department. Oh, external sales department. Ok. Um, Sofía, pregúntele a alguien más anything. Ask him, ask anyone about anything. Ocupando duodas, ok. 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 With WH question as well. WH questions, please. Mm, Luis, Edgar, no, Eduardo. Okay. Um, I don't know. Where do you work? You are on mute. Sorry. Sorry. I, sorry, 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 all right, go. I work in the office. In an office, in an, an office, all right, I'm okay, on. good. Ask somebody else, pregúntele algo que no sea con trabajo, okay? Um, ahora les pregunto si la WH question. Does Luis work in a firm? ¿Trabaja en alguna granja? Does he work in a farm? No. Ahí digo he doesn't, ¿ok? But does he work in an office? Yes, he does. He do no. Yes, he does. He does. O digo el, ver, el verbo, exactamente. Yes, he Cristian, ¿por qué no habla? Si está... Ajá. Nadie contesta, mire, pero usted sí lo está contestando. You're answering. Tell me. Yes, he works in the in office. He works in an, in an office. An, an office. Office. Ah, no. ¿Se acuerdan cuándo ocupar A o Amber, ah? ¿eh? Yes? Yes, teacher. Ok. Good. Ok. Pregúntele a alguien más, Christian. Please ask somebody else anything. Cualquier cosa, ya sea con WH question, pero usando el do. Come on, Christian. I'm waiting. Usándole WH, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Yes, Francisco, I like to teach English. 
And I like to teach English because I always practice and I don't forget words. Siempre practico. I always practice. I don't. Yo no olvido. I don't forget words. Okay. Christian, what is your question? Okay. Um, Carla Stephanie. Where do you like? No, no, not it. What or why? <laughs> no, lo que es eso, no, lo que es. Repeat, tiempo. please. Start all over. Comienza de nuevo, please. Okay. Come on, Christian. Car Carla, Stephanie. Um, what do you like to. What do you like to what do you like to watch on, on TV? What do you like to watch on TV? On TV, dijo? Yes, on TV. What do you like to watch on TV? ¿Qué le gusta ver on TV? Do you I like respondo con I like? Muy bien. I like I to like watch. to watch soap opera. <laughs> so poppers, es novelera. Which one is ahí ocupó Liz? Mira, hey, which is your favorite soap opera? ¿Cuál es la que le gusta? ¿Cuál es su favorita? Tell us. Díganos, my favorite, tell us. my favorite soap opera is la lo que la vida me robó. <laughs> ahí no podemos decir nada, guys. We cannot translate anything. Ahí no podemos traducir nada because that's its that's its name. Así se llama. Patricia, do you have a question or um anything uh, to to say? What schedule do you have in your office? What schedule? Okay, what schedule? ¿Qué es schedule, guy? ¿Qué es schedule? Horario. 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 What schedule do you have in your office? Entonces dice, I, ¿cómo responde? Muy, very good question, Patricia, me gusta, I like it. What schedule do you have in your office? I have... Oh, I work off. Poncho, Patricia. Uh -huh. I work off 8 okay. a.m. Uh, I work from the last 8. From 4 from, or 5. From 8 a.m. At, at 2. 2. Hasta 2, o, o 2, 4 p.m. Last a uh, last. Uh -huh, 2, 4 p.m. I work mm -hmm. from May 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. All right. Okay. Me estoy acordando de la tarea del, del, del audio, teacher. Miren, guys, ya voy a revisar la tarea del audio, pero igual, o sea, yo quería terminar con esto porque es lo que más considero que les ha costado en estos días, ¿verdad? Así que con el do y el das, guys, ahora con el verbo to be, ¿cómo me preguntaría? Ask me something. Verbo to be, pero con WH questions. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? What's the difference? What is your favorite movie? Ocupamos is, ya no ocupamos do ni das, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Where is ocupamos or where am, is, or are. Ajá, am, is, or are. Y luego el sujeto. Lo mismo, sujeto en segundo lugar. Do you, am I, are you, is he. ¿Ok? Um, la diferencia, guys, en negativo es que ocupo sujeto, verbo, pero si es negativo digo sujeto, verbo y not. I am not, she's not, you're not. Y si es negativo, ocupo ocupo is. En lugar de, de otro, vaya, si no es el verbo to be, ocupo el am, is, or are, ocupo algo más. Sí, eso es, por ejemplo, I'm not, o I am they not. aren't, I don't, o no, I o don't, no, they I aren't. Not. 
Ajá. Pero si fuera negativo, miren, guys, ocupo, si no fuera el verbo to be, ocupo I do not. ¿Ok? Le agrego el not, no solo decir I am not. ¿Ok? I do not y luego el verbo principal. Por ejemplo, I do not work. Yo no trabajo. Ok, si yo digo, yo no soy joven, I am not, pero si yo digo, no tengo trabajo, o no, I don't have a job, I don't have a job, o no trabajo, I don't have a job, I, I don't work, I don't work, very good, ok, vaya pues chicos, nos vemos el día lunes, ya me tengo que retirar para comenzar la next Happy week. weekend, teacher. Happy weekend, nice to see you guys. Cualquier cosa, Bye, por favor. Bye, nice to see you. Anótenla nice to... si quieren Good night, everyone. preguntar algo. See you next okay, week, Bye, teacher. bye.